Hi, I'm Troy Rackham. I'm uh, director at Fenimore Craig. I'm the managing director of the Denver office. Um, Fenimore Craig is a full service law firm. I think the legal industry, like a lot of industries, is dealing with um, significant generational um, differences. But the, uh, I think there's two chief components of the generational differences that we're experiencing, the millennials, uh, as, as they're known. Um, they have a lot of familiarity with technology. I mean, when you, if you think about it, that folks graduating from law school now have really never lived in a world where they didn't have a smartphone and Google available. Then that creates a very different approach in terms of the ability to attract and retain high quality um, lawyers. And it also uh, uh, impacts really the way they think about legal matters and solutions for the clients uh, where you know, the generation before me and perhaps even my generation might think of a less technological solution to a client's problems or uh, research things in a less technological way. Uh, um, the newer generation, the millennials, really are much more efficient about providing clients those kinds of solutions. Um, the, the challenge, though, is to uh, buttress that with the ability to choose which types of information are the you know the best for the client and to help develop client relation skills and things which have been i think less developed for the newer generations of lawyers than they were for the lawyers when i started for example um, uh, the other way i think there's generational differences is expectations about uh, law firms use of technology meaning that in terms of attracting and retaining um, associates, it's it's difficult to do that if a law firm doesn't rely on updated technology or uh, isn't able to uh, be agile enough to respond to the demands of you know the the associates coming in in terms of what they need and how they need to work. And one prominent feature that I've seen over the so I've practiced law for 17 years. And one significant difference is the ability to work remotely, either working from home or from some other spot. Now that's an expectation, and before it was a very rare phenomenon, and it didn't occur very frequently. And the, the ability for firms to be able to address that not only helps the firms with their bottom line in terms of dealing with overhead and things like that, but also to attract high-quality candidates who want to work remotely or have the ability to, to not be anchored to the office so often. There's a variety of technological solutions to problems that used to require, you know, uh, lawyers or paralegals to do. For example, a document review. There's now software that allows uh, or applies artificial intelligence to be able to determine from a very large body of data and documents what documents might be relevant or irrelevant. Whereas before, you know, when I started, what you'd do is send a young lawyer like me into a conference room for days and days and days and go through physical. Um, documents and review which ones are important. And now we have software solutions that help with that. And of course, clients applaud that because it saves a lot of costs and costs for the client and makes the legal representation more efficient. But there's also technological um, differences in terms of um, how you interact with clients. It used to be when I started, you know, telephone calls and even letters or facsimiles were uh, pretty common and now by and large, every uh, all of the communications occur by email. All of the court filings are done electronically, and there's uh, important technological differences that, frankly, the older generations have struggled to adapt to. That have really moved the legal industry in different ways. And then, as a trial lawyer, one thing I see frequently is juries now expect the use of technology, at least having screens in the courtroom so they can see the documents or the other evidence more efficiently as opposed to you know, just putting a document in front of them. Um, there's really an expectation, you know, and it's understandable because we all have cell phones or, or TVs at home and we're constantly um, involved in reviewing things on a screen that jurors, in order to gain their attention, you have to have that kind of interactive um, evidence display that you didn't have to have you know, 10 years ago or, or 17 years ago when I started. And that's a big difference. Um, and then there's other differences in terms of um, the ability to access the office remotely, cloud computing, uh, the way um, documents are created. I mean, th and that's an important issue for law firms because it used to be you'd have a lawyer who would either dictate it or write in free write you know, um, what document he wanted, give it to a secretary who would type it up. 
and then he'd give it back to the lawyer to review and then give it to the secretary to finalize and then mail it to the court or walk it down to the court. And that whole process, workflow process, is gone. Um, by and large, lawyers know, uh, do their own you know, document preparation. They type their own documents. They draft their own documents. And it's really allowed law firms to be a lot more efficient and not have the overhead that they needed to have you know, 10 years ago in terms of secretarial support or paralegal support. I think Fenimore Craig's biggest competitive advantage is the, the people that we employ. I mean, at base, what lawyers provide are legal services to clients. And uh, the, the difference in value is the ability of the lawyers to provide really high quality legal services at an efficient, um, at an efficient price or an efficient approach. And Fenimore Craig is a very um, skilled at doing that. I mean, we have a lot of really good lawyers that um, uh, exceed in delivering high quality services to clients at an efficient rate. But perhaps most fundamentally, just the ability to collaborate with other offices who have experienced similar problems or to be able to supply for a client who's in the Rocky Mountain West and might have operations in Arizona and operations in Colorado and in Nevada, to be able to integrate and provide a one source of legal services for those types of clients has really put us in an advantageous position, at least in the um, Rocky Mountain West. And that's a deliberate decision to try to stay in that region and avoid the coasts because we can supply the same type of excellent services, but for a, a much more efficient um, price for the clients because of the location and not having to deal with some of the um, problems that exist in legal firms on the coasts, including the lar larger you know, billable hour. Mm -hmm.